Hello everybody, thank you for coming back to my video. Let me see, that's better. As you can see here, we have a Vizio 5.1 soundbar. This is a V series. We have 4.5 inch wireless subwoofer with based on the 50 Hertz. We have the surround sound speakers, our volume adjustable to your preference. We have a QR code, scan to learn more. Power performance, developing sound, optimized for 4K entertainment, and we're going to give this sound bar. I'm going to show you what's all in the box. This is going to be an unboxing video. If you look here, it says six times powerful speakers, 96 dP sound pressure level, and it tells about the wireless subwoofer again, surround sound speakers. Center speaker has a dialogue there in the, for the sound bar. We have voice assistant input. Dual stereo mode, front surround sound mode, we have ARC HDMI, we have DTS, virtual X surround sound, digital surround sound, multi-channel surround sound, true volume leveling, Dolby Audio, and it says Bluetooth and HDMI. Contains one HDMI ARC digital optical aux in, aux voice assistant in. USB audio cables included one HDMI. I'm going to have to cut all the tape on this box and open her up so we can take a look at this. Now, I do have another sound bar here that is only a 4.1 channel that I bought on Black Friday special like, let's see, how long ago was that? Like almost two years ago. So now I got this new one. I want to see if it's any more low profile than what the original one is or anything like that. Because the other one I have, it's like I cannot set it in front of my TV as it blocks my remote sensor on my brand new TV it has bought. I just bought the 75-inch 4K TV that Walmart has. And my sound bar is too tall. I had to actually stick it behind the TV. And it does work like that, but I've been wanting to upgrade my soundbar for a while. And this is on sale right now. Originally $199.99, I believe, and it's on sale for $148. So I thought I'd give it a try. It's supposed to be like a V51 36-inch soundbar. I don't see anywhere on this box that actually tells you. Oh, it may be down here in the bottom of this box let's take a look there we go v 51 x j6 so there we go we do have my model number and we're gonna oh, after i open up this box we will go through what's all in the package as you see here the box got a little bit of damage and shipping but it shouldn't hurt anything if it does i'll just have to return it Well, that isn't enough to open it yet. Okay, I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back. I just popped open all these tabs up on this one side of the box. Now I can open it up and I can see a box right here. My other one that I bought, it had all the cables in here in this secondary little box here. So, it's all taped up. Give me one moment while I cut this tape so I can get that open. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I am getting this box again. As you can see, we have two power cords here. One will be for the sound bar. One will be for the subwoofer. They both have the same exact ends on them. One's longer than the other one. So depending on how far away your outlet is from the sound bar, or the subwoofer, you can basically switch them between the two. We have left and right audio speakers, which is the same as like what my other one had. And the back of the unit is actually going to be color coded between blue and gray, letting you know which side does what. But we got our two speakers. It comes with an HDMI cable, so you can get to your A ARC audio. It comes with 
an optical cable. It comes with the remote, which is the same as what I have on my 4.1 channel. One that I bought before that there's a, a review of on my site as well. We have wall mounts. We have more wall mounts. One set of wall mounts is for the surrounds. And the other set of wall mounts is for the soundbar itself. And there is paper in here somewhere. It comes with new batteries for the remote as well. Let's take a better look at the remote. We have input, Bluetooth, power, optional to go around for different options. We have OK. We have an EQ level plus uh, volume up and down. We have a mute button down here. We have a defect. We have a setup button. And this does take two AAA batteries, which it comes with two door cell batteries. So it comes with name brand batteries. Not many items anymore come with name brand batteries. My other one came with papers to mount your mounts with uh, in the paperwork. Yeah, this does too. There's two pages in here that actually have wall mount diagram on it. You can basically tape this to your wall and figure out where you need to mount your wall mounts. Personally, I didn't want to put holes in my wall, so I just put my speakers in the lower corners of my room and in the back of my room, and I can still hear them with the surround sound. Of course, it would probably be better yet if I actually... Nothing in these little cutouts here off to the side like that. But like I said, it comes with everything to hook up the soundbar. It doesn't come with like regular RCA hookups, like to hook up the actual soundbar itself. The only parts that has RCA hookups is the part that goes to the speakers. So let me get this little box out of the way. And let's take a look now, figure out what we're going to get out first. Well... That looks like that exposed the subwoofer right away. So let me pause the video and I'll be right back once I pull this out of the box. It's kind of hard to do one-handed. Okay, I pulled out of the box. It still has the styrofoam on it. As you can see, the styrofoam is taped. It looks like they have paper on the bottom of it to protect your subwoofer from getting damaged. Now this one here is a little bit of white residue or something here on the rubber of the, of the foam. Speaker looks okay besides that. That's not going to affect anything. I think it rubs off, so. Let me see about getting the subwoofer out of this foam. So we can take a better look at it. Okay. There is a seam here in the black vinyl wrap right down here down the middle the whole way down from them wrapping this i guess that's the spot that had the least amount of area for seam and this is probably going to be the back of the unit anyway we have on off we have as you can see blue and a gray looks like the right side is gray the left side is blue and we have the ac power cord in and if you take a look at this subwoofer it has rounded corners. It's pretty small. Let me take this foam here and get, I'm going to put it back into its foam for right now until I'm ready to hook this baby up. So I'm going to pause the video, put it back in the foam and lay this off to the side. Okay, here is the sound bar. It's all wrapped up in plastic and it's really long. It's 36 inches compared. It's longer than the other one I have and it appears to be thinner not as tall so i should be able to fit this in front of the tv without it blocking my remote sensor which i had problems with with my 4.1 so i'm gonna undo some of these tape and see if we can get this out of the styrofoam okay it has a texture feeling to the whole soundbar. 
And right back here, if you look, it says contact voice assistant to Aux VA. Has like a headphone jack for that. And here it says HDMI for ARC. We have this little protective plastic thing here, which I just peeled off. As you can see, this side over here is optical, has the HDMI, which is out to ARC. So that goes to the TV output for ARC audio, which my TV uses aux, uh, uses HDMI 1 for that output. And if you look there, there's the auxiliary and auxiliary VA. And that's like auxiliary voice assistant. Then we go over to the other side, we have power cord. We have a five volt, 0.5 amp USB hookup. We have rubber feet on the bottom of the sound bar. And this whole top piece is like textured and it has raised buttons for power, select Bluetooth minus and plus for the audio, which if I turn this around to the proper way, that it would be sitting for a TV, it would be left side, power, select, Bluetooth, minus for volume, plus for volume, probably for the select as well, for different modes for plus and minus, or on the right hand side more. As you can see, we have fabric here on the front going around which it's a nice sound bar it's a lot more low profile than my 4.1 one is which i am happy that it's more low profile i just hope it sounds as good as the old 4.1 that i have and like i said the 4.1 was bought like two years ago at walmart black friday special this year i bought the 5.1 on black friday special and this year it was 148 dollars and I'm hoping it's worth it. I hope it sounds better than the 4.1. Now, eventually, I, I may hook this up and do a video of how it sounds. But at first, I need to go hook this up and make sure that it's going to be working properly. Well, I'd like to thank you then for viewing my video. Remember to click like and subscribe. And eventually, I'll be doing one for a 75-inch TV that I bought from Walmart on Walmart Black Friday special. The 75 inch for 448. Okay, thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Here I ended the video already and I realized I did not record the two surround sound speakers. Now they come in this other little box inside of the main box and I'm trying to get the tape rolled up with my finger now so I can actually get those open for you as you can see they are small little speakers for the surround sound I'm able to put it into my hand, no problem. It is taped up on each end. I'm only going to open up one of the two, but if you look there, it says Vizio right on it. This one's uh, the blue one. As you can see, we have fabric on it. It has little rubber feet, so you can actually lay it down on something, too. If you want to, like, lay it down on, like, your end table, like, out of the way without wall mounting it. But it also has a screw spot in the back of it for the wall mount. And as I'm looking at this, on the bottom, there is, like, looks like a little bit of a seam here that's a little bit different than the rest of it, which surprises me. I'm surprised it wasn't one solid piece, or maybe it is, and just the way it's laying down, I have no idea. 
but like I said, it has four feet here. Most likely, if you want to tear this apart, the, there'd be screws underneath these rubber uh, feet, so you could actually take a look at that. And like I said, one's going to be have a blue in it. The other one's going to have a gray in it. Let me open up the second one as well. Even though I said I wasn't going to. That way I have a record of opening it. Just in case it was damaged in shipping or something. And this one has a few... I don't know. It looks like a couple little marks up here in the the on it, and that's from the factory, like that. And it has the same little line down here. If you look at here, it has the gray one. Like I said, one's gonna be one of each. It has Vizio, and of course, it has the rubber feet on this one as well. Okay, now I'm really finished with this video. Now remember to click like, subscribe, and I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope you guys get lucky enough to buy this Black Friday deal as I think it's a nice speaker setup.